In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to create horizontal split screen video clips. I've assumed you have some knowledge of editing in shortcut. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to do a very simple three screen split. Uh, there are a few ways you can do this in shortcut so all I can do is show you the way that I did the um, clip at the beginning. I'm not going to do any editing and I'm not going to go into rendering as I said at the introduction um, I've assumed you've got some knowledge of uh, working in shortcut. So I'll just drag this clip into the timeline and make sure it's snapped to the beginning. I'll also in drag this view up a bit although you don't need to. Now if you just cut in a clip in half or quarters or whatever it's um, relatively easy to work in shortcut or if you want to just bring this down or up but if you want say to split the screen in half here and then reposition your video in that half there's a little bit more work you have to do. Um, so the way I would do it is with the clip selected come over to the filters and then select the plus sign. If you come down to size and position because I'm splitting this in the middle you can also drag the clip about as well. Um, in fact what I'll do is I'll just move this clip down. You can move the clip down or you can come over to this side here and because I'm, I'm, I'm I am going to move this again but uh, for now I'm just going to use it as a guideline because I want to split this 50-50 half a 1080 is 540. Now with um, shortcut certainly on my system I find hitting return um, causes a bit of a problem so I generally left click on the track and again this is moved so I'm going to recenter this and left click and also just check because this is the ability you have got the ability to scale on this this uh, filter just check that your aspect ratios haven't changed um, again if they do just overwrite it and retype them in and select the track but this is fine. Now I'm going to right click on the track and then left click on add video track. So this will bring a second track in. Go back into the playlist and I'm going to bring my next video clip in to track 2. Now the problem here is I can't see what's going on behind. So if you come over to filters and then select the make sure you've got the second track selected then left click on the plus sign you'll need to go into the tab that says video show video filters and then select blend mode and then just left click on over and select something like add and what this does is it for now it gives you you can actually see the split left click on plus again and freeze I'm going to go back into favorites and again size and position use the middle dot to drag your clip to a point where you think you're happy with so we'll go with that make sure that your position is zero if not type in zero here and set and left click on the track also make sure you haven't changed the scale hit the plus sign again and freeze I'm just going or you can use the search box but I'm just going to go back to video and I'm going to select 
crop rect angle. Now if you place your pointer in either of the corners you can actually drag the crop up. So just drag it up till it's do you've actually got it in the middle or you could here as this as this clearly shows you they were not far off the middle here so mathematically it's 540 and again hit the uh, left click on the track check your positions are at zero and also make sure that your aspect ratio along the top hasn't changed I'm going to select the second track and hopefully you can see the dot in the middle if you've lost it and it's come down here what you can do is just rechange this so if I change this to something like 300 and then select the track it will bring this up and you should be able to see the dot in the middle move your clip till you're happy with the position it's in make sure everything is set up correctly haven't changed the aspect ratio and again we're going to add another crop So that's crop rectangle and I'm going to just drag this down so it's again five forty and we've moved a bit so I'll uh center that aspect ratio yeah something's changed yeah this one's changed here so I'll have to change this to 1920 and that's looking pretty good in fact I think I'll just change this the position's fine but I'll change this to 540 again That's looking okay. Yeah, basically, all that done was uh, change the bottom, and that's looking pretty good. Now, if you want to place another video over this, you'll have to just change similar sort of process. But if I go into the playlist, um, we'll add another track, and this is quite a long clip, so that's why I'm not going to go into anything to do with edit uh, rendering. All I'm going to do with this one is make sure it's selected and then left click on plus. And again, if you come to blend mode, now forget that, you don't want blend mode. If you've got a filter up, left click on minus, Let's start again. What you want is, let's say, crop rectangle. Now I want to make this a third. Now a third is, I think, 320. So if I type in 320 here, and this happens. But if I move this, we actually end up so I can just put this in the middle I don't know check your aspect ratio make sure you're in the middle I'm not going to be too fussy with this but as you can see you can't see the videos behind if you left click the little black where it says padding color there's a little black square if you left click on this 
and next to alpha channel you overwrite the 255 with a zero and then left click on OK you end up with three videos that you can see so I'm not going to go into any detail um, obviously you may want to do something completely different so I'm going to just leave that as it is but one thing I would say if you go if you go into export your video and go into advanced you may want to think about your audio so if you select audio you can disable it um, but like I said at the beginning I assume you got some knowledge of uh, working in shortcut so that's basically all there is to it hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers